Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwam yasha Allah, kuholimla, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Makahakadash, double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who do rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say to Wada, to all the Akim and Akwa, that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Jacques and the Waf just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. I wanted to touch on this particular article, and it's a section in it that I'm going to get at. And um, this is with this young um, Eve. She went on this cruise. It says, I paid $300 for two nights at Margaritaville Cruise from Florida to the Bahamas, and I wouldn't do it again. Okay, so now it goes off into, you know, I guess, you know, they, you know, the buffet was, was shutting down at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. You got that part. It says the pools were much smaller than expected. And she didn't think they were still <laughs> with enough water. Anyway, these are things that you should be able to go on a website and kind of look at. Maybe she didn't check the reviews. It says my family members purchased Wi-Fi but only worked on certain parts of the ship. But this is the point that I want to get to right here. Can you see her holding this damn pig right here? She's holding a pig, right? Our excursion to go swimming with pigs was fun but disappointing. And she says that this was the highlight of the trip, basically. It says, um, let me see. Let me just get to the point on this. Uh, well, let me start from the top here. It says, um, on day two, the trip, the ship arrived at Grand Bahama Island, where we were able to leave the ship for an excursion run by a third party before heading back to the port of Palm Beach. We had the option of booking an excursion when booking the, the cruise or while on the ship the day we boarded. Passengers were able to choose between things like swimming with dolphins, swimming with pigs, having an up-close encounter with dolphins, or spending the day at either the Viva Winham. Okay, uh, that's okay. But this is what she done. Oh, this is the shit that, that bugged me out. I'm like, so you would spend money to go swim with pigs? Why the fuck would you go do something like that? It says, my sister and I booked the excursion to swim with pigs on crystal beach which cost 100 dollars per person so you spent the extra hundred dollars just to go swim with some pigs <laughs> wow oh wow 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 okay it says this was the highlight of our trip but the experience was not what we thought it would be the excursion was less about swimming with the pigs and more about feeding them the pigs were swimming around while we were trying to get them to come over using the apples we were given. In addition, 40 other guests from the crews were competing for the attention of about six large pigs, which was overwhelming and overstimulating. It was a great time, but the human to pig ratio was a bit imbalanced, and it was a race to get a pig attention, a pig's attention before another guest got in your way. The pigs were so big, they almost knocked people over. And there was a lot of pushing. Now, <laughs> when I grew up in the South, you know, those were called hogs. Because you have um, what they would call pigs, but they would get as large as a damn cow. You know, some of these, some of these, you know, these, if you've ever seen, a lot of people don't really know about farming like that. But when I grew up in the South, man, you would see actual hogs. We call them hogs. <laughs> or sow, whatever you want to call them, but we call them hogs because they would literally get as big as a damn cow. So I can imagine these particular and they, I can imagine being them being in, in water. I've never seen them like that, but I'm pretty sure that they they swim really well. You know what I'm saying? Because hey, they they got a, a, a nice amount of power. But anyway, I just wanted to just touch on this for a hot sec because first off, we're not supposed to even be touching pigs and shit like that so it's just kind of weird that they spent a hundred dollars um to go actually swim with pigs that's kind of weird that's weird as hell i've never heard well i guess that's a part of a cruise but and that's probably something they're into over there in the bahamas like that well let's get into the law and the swine man and there's a couple of scriptures uh leviticus 11 and 7 and the swine though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed Yet he cheweth not the cud, he is unclean unto you. Deuteronomy 14 and 8, it goes a little bit further. It says, and the swine, which is pig or oink oink or 
hog or whatever you, you want to call it. it. You know, it's swine, bacon, ham, pork chops, you know. We're not supposed to be eating that stuff. We're not even supposed to be touching this animal. This animal is unclean. Here she go in a picture holding one. And then she spent the extra hundred dollars to go swim with one. It says, and the swine, because it divided the hoof, yet chew of not the cud, it is unclean unto you. Ye shall not eat of their flesh, nor touch their dead carcass. So we're not supposed to touch these, these animals. You know what I'm saying? Um, and we're definitely not supposed to eat these animals. But our people do eat pork chops they eat bacon they eat ham they eat you know um chitlins and pig ears pig feet and hog head saw whatever the shit they call it but anyway it was just weird to me that <laughs> that, that she was actually upset about that experience like who spends a hundred dollars to go swim with some pigs man you know and like i said again i'm pretty sure these are the, the, those are probably really large um animals man Cause I'm telling you, some of them will get the height of four to five, or at least four feet, and sometimes about shit two to three feet in width. Those are some, those animals can get real big. I've seen them. <laughs> I've seen them because, like I said, when I grew up in the south, a lot of my neighbors they had them as as um you know they had farms. They had they they was that was what they was doing. They was raising them, and they were selling them to other people. They would butcher them and do all these things, you know, and it was just something that I was just never into. Like, <laughs> like what the hell is, you know, because they were just nasty. They would always, you know, kind of waddle and they just always muddy and dirty and shit. They would always try and waddle down off into the mud, I guess, to keep cool. I don't know. Anyway, but I just wanted to touch on this. Um, You know, we can get a lesson out of everything because there are newcomers that are coming into this truth and they don't know no better. They don't know that swine is a part of um, our dietary law that we're not supposed to eat. We're not supposed to eat shrimp, crab, lobster. You know, we have a dietary law. The Lord, the Lord gave us the things that we can eat and that's clean for us to eat. And he gave us things that we shouldn't eat because these particular types of animals, they cause disease, man. You know, internally and, um, you know, um, just dealing with them because they're see they're able to 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 be around anything they can run through poison ivy and do all kinds of shit and, you know, and eat all kinds of poisonous stuff and it won't bother them. But when it comes to us touching, handling, and especially eating it, it, it can fuck you up, man. So I just wanted to just touch on this real quick. So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Inshallah.